Nicholas Huende's bantamweight title victory is already a story that belongs in the history books. Stepping in at short notice to face perennial contender Gian Sousa, Huende finished his more experienced opponent in the third and now accepts his first challenger, the man he replaced that fateful night, the legendary Nkazimala Zulu. Zulu, I want to lift you from that corner to that corner. Maybe when he's dreaming, because I'm going to put him to sleep, he's going to do that on his dreams. EFC's first champion in multiple weight classes, Zulu Boy has fought in the five-sider 17 times, with each performance being all-out warfare. One of the most devastating kickboxers to have ever fought in the organization, Zulu has shown himself to be a true danger on the canvas, taking the tap from Cedric Doyle, Gary Joshua, Lutando Biko, and Sylvester Chipfumbo, amongst others. Zulu Boy! But it is now Chip Fumbu who is in the corner of his Zimbabwean compatriot, a man who has an equally difficult style to counter and who also has victories anywhere the fight may take him. One of the most exciting stars to have risen in the recent history of the organization takes on one of the greatest to have ever stepped foot inside the hexagon. This is one of the biggest title fights in the history of African combat sports and it is less than a moment away. It's Nicholas Huende versus Nkazima Lazulu for the bantamweight title. Proudly brought to you by World Sports Betting. When I went to Ofu, when I went to Ofu, by and here we go. It's main event time here at EFC 100. Here comes Nakazuma Lazulu representing Team CIT. What a talent he has been over the years, fighting for titles, winning titles, going overseas, being on the Ultimate Fighter, coming back and absolutely blazing a trail. Nakazuma Lazulu, one of the most exciting fighters to ever step one foot into a hexagon. It's that man, Zulu Boy, ready to make history again. Simon, what a night. Yeah, I, I talk about legends in the EFC, and I don't mean it lightly when I talk about this man. And Kazimola, Zulu Boy Zulu has been it, done it, as he steps into the Rhino Beer Prep Zone, our first bi-divisional champ in the EFC. I mean, you look at the people he's fought and beaten. You know, Cedric Doyle, Craig Nino, Brenna Conda, Sylvester Chip Bumbu, Magna Alves, Gary Joshua, Fafa Duomo, Lutando Biko, Jan Sousa. I mean, you can just go on and on with this guy. We talked so many times about his devastating kickboxing, but when he went out to train in Vegas with the Henry Cejudo, he started falling in love with the wrestling, and it always tries to show us something different when it comes down to the canvas. Pinpoint striking accuracy on the feet, but now, can you imagine that kind of deadly skill set now sharpened at that program at CIT? We know that Mornay Fissa, Henny Engelbrecht, Drickus and Cameron are all out in Vegas, but look at that corner. Steph Delaray, who's been in his own war here tonight. Mark Hume, Scotty Mack from the yard, a fantastic corner. who have taken a guy who's been one of the most deadliest finishers who's ever seen in here EFC history and just making me even more deadly. It's like taking the sharpest diamond in the world and just making it so micro finely tuned to become one of the greatest mixed martial artists in the history of African combat sports. And he comes in as a world sports betting underdog in this fight. And we're going to see some very interesting odds change if it goes past the first round. Yes, he's up against a tough, hungry young champion in Nicolas Awende, but you are looking at one of the greatest to ever step foot in the hexagon. Zulu Boy certainly has his credentials, but what can you say about Nicholas Hwende? This kid has been absolutely scintillating. And we've seen fighters like this before, these young fighters that kind of come out of nowhere, kind of blow you away. Guys that have gone on to even greener pastures, guys like Adrikas Duplessy, uh, that kind of came out of nowhere, and before you know it, boom, he's gone. Uh, Cameron Simon's another one that comes to mind clearly. Um, you know, so many of these great fighters, 
Iga Cabeza comes out of nowhere and he's undefeated for a long time. We've had so many of these great legendary fighters. Could Wende be that guy? We don't know if he's that guy yet. We know he's 4-0. We know he has the title around his waist and that certainly says a lot. But if you add a scalp like the Kazuma Zulu, you put him up on your wall, that's massive. He's beaten Susan Barros and Mahondo. None of them stack up to the Kazuma Zulu. So this is the biggest fight of his career. This is a, definitely a defining moment for Nicholas Wende. Can he do it on the biggest stage of them all, on the biggest event in the EFC history, when all the lights are on you and all the cameras are on you? Can you get it done against somebody that's been there before? An 18 fight veteran, a former champion, and just one of the best strikers that we've ever seen. Big test for Huende. Yeah, big test. To answer your question, yes, he can. Every time Huende steps into the hex, People say, oh, Nick's not going to beat this guy. They said that when he faced Takamandu, he beat him. They said it when he tested uh, Eduardo Barros, he beat him. And he knocked out Jan Salzer in that incredible third round. And they said he wasn't going to do that. And now he, he faces the biggest test of his career. As you intimated, Sai, if he beats a legend like in Kazuma Lazulu, there's going to be no stopping this kid. He is such a natural talent. This is a huge fight for him. But he always finds a way to win. He's so versatile. You know, when the fight doesn't go his way, he always finds a way of adapting. He's happy to play, but he's so effective. I mean, he's just, he mixes it up so beautifully. His striking is so unpredictable. He comes at you with different angles and he just transports himself to a different center of the hexagon. And he's coming at you from another side before you know it. He's, 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 he's happy to risk everything and put everything on the line. And he just keeps beating people again and again and again. I've rarely seen such a natural talent as we are seeing now in the champion of the bantamweight division of the EFC, Nicholas Wende. Oh my goodness, World Sports Betting brings us our main event bout for the Bantamweight Championship. Here we go, six years younger is Wende. Height similar, Reef barely goes to the champion here. Five rounds for the Bantamweight title. Buckle up, baby, it's going down. Time to knuckle up, throw down. Let's throw it to Kotsu. Ladies and gentlemen, this is EFC 100, coming to you live from the EFC Performance Institute in Johannesburg, South Africa. This is the main event of the evening. Proudly brought to you by World Sports Betting in partnership with Ignite, M2 Biosciences, Restonic Mattresses, Rhino Beer, The Capital, Dragon Energy, and Stack Assets. And now, to the millions of EFC fans watching around the world, it war! Five rounds for the EFC Bantamweight Champion of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, a kickboxer with 14 wins and five losses. He stands at five foot eight, weighing in at 133 pounds. Fighting out of Pretoria, South Africa, I give to you your former EFC featherweight champion of the world, your former EFC bantamweight champion of the world, presenting Ngazimulo Zulu Boy Zulu! And now presenting his opponents, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer with four wins and zero losses. He stands undefeated, five foot seven, weighing in at 134 pounds, fighting out of Johannesburg, South Africa, your current EFC bantamweight champion of the world, Nicholas Wende. Your referee for this fight, referee Brad Block. The great Brad Block will be the third man inside of the hexagon. 
Sulu and Wende. This is a battle. Excited about this one as our Ignite girls get us going here. What they do, Ignite, of course, proud new partner of the EFC. We're glad to have them, a global lifestyle brand unlike any other. Look at those girls wearing those vapes out. And here we go. Zulu Boy, another day at the office for Zulu Boy. Been here, done that. For Wende, his first defense. All right, I've gone over the rules of both of you. You both know what I want. Touch close now if you want. It's a title fight. Best of luck to both of you, all right? Let's go back. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go! It's fight time, round one, brought to you by Dragon Energy Drink. The power is yours. On the right side of your screen, the red tape, and Kazuma Lazulu, the blue tape. Our champ, Nick Quende. Oh, big right round dash from oh, Wende straight away. out of the gate. Both lads very light on their feet. Zulu replies with a left of his own to the body. Oh, big left swing and a miss from Zulu. Nicholas very fast. A lot of many, thousands of mini feints with his fists. Nice side kick from Zulu there. Oh, good right Ryan House from Huende in return. Ooh. Both lads exchanging some lovely Snapping kicks. Snapping that kick up there. Nick turns around with the kick Zulu and Zulu follows will up. make you pay. Yeah. Simon, he will make you pay if you make a mistake. Yeah, just got solid kickboxing technique, changing his stance. Is now moving to South for Zulu. Nicholas Wende also switching it around. So fast, these Don't guys. Don't forget, quick. Zula Boy has some submissions in his back pocket as well. Every once in a while, he breaks them out. He's become a very well oh, rounded fighter. Forward. Here he comes. Zula Boy cutting him off. Wende has to be dominant here, has to really show his dominance, prove that he is the true champion. Nick is coming forward. Zulu pushes the pace a bit more. That side kick coming in again. Oh, good knee up the middle underneath the chin of Zulu from Nick Wende. Big bowling overhand left from Wende. They're clinching up. All tied up. It's amazing. He's got the double, he's well got the neck, and Zulu. Boy has become. He grabs that guillotine, and that's pretty tight. He's got the neck. Nick seems to be okay. He's got Might it clinched up, though. the best though. position. Could he get it? Nick's out. No, great. That yeah, looked in tight. Good defense from Zulu. Back up to clinch the fence. Wendisco's got the single. Now he's looking for the double. Nick's taking him down. Good dog. Zulu trying to get back up to his feet. Wow. And he does. Beautifully done. Nick's got the class one, but let's go of it. Now Zulu now is hunting for the takedown. Great scramble there by Zulu. And we've seen him evolve and evolve in his career. Very one-dimensional early on. Now he's taking a little bit of everything. Really loves his wrestling, loves jiu-jitsu, and is proud of where he's taken his fight game. But make no mistake about it, he wants that belt. Nicholas turns him round back up against the fence. Got the left under the arm, both fighting for the wrist control. Now Nicholas got the double, looking for another takedown. Just leave his neck out this time. It's a good slam. Gotta be careful of the triangle though. See this you know, it's before. quite amazing, Simon, that that now Zulu Boy can make you pay with the subs as well. There was a time where you would have never thought that. If you went to the ground, yeah. he was in big trouble. Yeah. And now you got to watch out for the submissions as well. Wende seems to have scouted it very well. He's handling himself very well on the ground. But here we go. Looking for the Sneaking arm. Sneaking that leg up there, Zulu Boy. Looking for the triangle now. And just keeping it tight. Left just misses. Yeah, you're right, Cyrus. He's got a couple of really nice submission wind, has Zulu. Particularly one against Gary Joshua, most recently against Latando Biko. 
was able to submit the grappling specialists and just showing an ever-changing evolution in his game. This is nice control from Wendy, though. He's keeping it tight and tidy. A couple of nice bits of ground and pound. Trying to just control the back of Wendy's head as Zuli stopping him, posturing up. He's hunting again, throwing up that rubber guard. Pity patty elbow from Wende. So he's got the leg on the hip, just trying to push off with his feet. So he can escape some elbows from the bottom. Nikos is moving round. Just be careful of the rubber guard of Zhu just throwing them up. He was hunting for the triangle in the arm earlier, but Nicholas has nice defense. Nicholas will see if he can just score a couple of points as the round finishes. Wende looking oh. very, very strong here in round number one and able to stay on top with Zulu Boy. It looks like the eye may be affected here as we'll take a closer look once he goes into that Rastonic corner. And we'll take a look at the corner cam and kind of examine what's going on with the eye of our champion, Nicholas Wende. Yeah, but just to see if we can see that replay from the truck, but I think it was just the elbow from the bottom might, might have caught Nick, just uh, complained about it as the hooter went as we take a look at the restonic corner cam <laughs> this has been a night here's the action replay brought to you by Versonic. supporting dreams since 1938 back and forth action here great striking early no. on zulu boy looked tremendous but one day was able to kind of come back we saw the submission attempt very tight yeah, it was in so deep, wasn't it? And Wende was able to go it out and get the ascendancy. It was a beautiful slam from Wende, and he was able to stay on the ground and start ratcheting up the points. Here's those elbows from the bottom. Let's see if it connects. Wende's eye. Yeah, it looks like his right eye is completely closed up. Sorry, from what I can see, we may get a shot of it in a minute. She's pacing back and forth. You can see that right eye now. It's completely shut up. And how I is mean, he going to have depth of field? Can you imagine right eye set up against a southpaw stance of Zulu? Zulu knows what's up. He's going right after it. He's going to try to make him pay. Yeah, you're just going to have no 3D field of vision whatsoever, is Nick. He's just going to seeing completely out of one eye and against the electrically quick kickboxing of Kazuma Zulu, That is a massive disadvantage. And no I one mean, can finish like Zulu. That thing is 100% closed for Nicholas Wende. Stacking the odds against him now as we go into round number two. This one's set for five rounds. You see Zulu trying to use that straight left. Nice balance Wende from Zulu. knows what he needs to do, attacking the leg. Yeah, he wants to take it down and see if he uh, can take advantage of the ground game. And see if he can uh, finish as he did that first round. Interesting, interesting to see how those WSB in play odds. And it's Wende still the marginal favorite. I don't know if those odds were played out before the eye shut of Wende, but Zulu, a very marginal outsider. That may change as this round wears on. It's Wende with the takedown. Finally succeeded in what he was trying to do. Wants none of the striking with that closed eye. And see if he can start scoring up some points and some damage of his own. Was getting in a decent bit of ground and pound at the end of that first round before the elbow from the bottom from from Zulu. Just a bit nice top control from Nick Wende. Still a bit of wrist control, seeing if he can hunt for the Kimura. He's got the key lock. Can't see it from this angle, but no, Zulu gets out. Zulu. Oh, but Zulu slips it. Grappling is. Certainly evolved for Nakazuma Luzulu one day, testing it tonight with his top game. He's yet to be touched here in the EFC. Nicholas Wende, is he going to be able to keep that alive? If he can beat Zulu, wow, does that take his stock to a whole new level? Yeah, Nick's going to go and try and keep it here and see if he can ratchet up some points. He's been visiting the EFC Performance Institute these past few weeks in his fight camp knowing that CIT are going to bring a decent ground game, as they always do. But Nicholas needs to keep the control of Zulu. He's got his back. He hasn't got the hooks in. Good turnaround 
from Casamolo though. Now he's got Nick in a seated position up against the hex fence. And Nick's going to try and see if he can get back up to his feet. So he's got to be careful of the grounded opponent. Nick's trying to get the takedown again. Good scramble for both lads, and it's Zulu who ends up on top. He's in half guard. Wow. What a scramble. Wende and Zulu battling back and forth on the mat. Maybe didn't expect that tonight. You thought maybe you're just going to get a stand-up war between these two, but uh, not the case. He's got both Zulu hooks boy in. Throwing hooks in. He's going to hunt for the rear naked. He's going to see if he can soften Nick up. He's going to keep him there. What can Wende do from here, knowing that Zulu's got beautiful submissions on his record, but then so has Wende with that submission of Takamandu, but he's in a nasty position here. So he's just going to try and keep controlling. He'll turn wherever Wende's trying to escape to. Nicholas reverse is beautifully done. Nick Wende showing he's got the grappling chops too. It's going to turn and change around in fortunes in the second round. Oh, it's a beautiful elbow from Nicholas Wende that really scored on there. I don't think Zulu Boy's cut, but it was a hellacious elbow from Wende. It really connected nicely. Zulu just letting go of the butterflies, putting them back in and reconnecting. But Nicholas just happy, just trying to posture up. Now he's hunting again. For the arm is Zulu. Trying to find it. Nick's just keeping it nice and tight inside. Look for the wrist control. Zulu's still hunting for the arm. Nicholas shaking his head across to his corner, saying, No, he's fine. Hasn't got it on. Continuing to attack. Back to his left arm. Mobilized here for one day. Zulu trying to finish it. He's still got enough time, but Wendy doing it, stacking him up. Wendy's just got five seconds left now to see out this round and escape the armbar attempt. Fantastic round. Good fight IQ from Wendy taking it to the canvas, though. But good defense from Zulu was able to turn it around. Both lads showing some beautiful reversals. Good scoring on the takedowns from the corner cams. Simon, Simon this is, it's been a great technical battle here. We're seeing Zulu's ground game more and more, and Wende showing why he's a champion. You know, it's what we thought this fight was going to be. I think we, I think everybody kind of bargained on more striking, but it's really coming down to their ground prowess, and Wende is definitely answering the call, even with one eye. Yeah, doctors are taking a look at it right now. They're trying to use the end swell to see if they can bring it down. But like I said, good fight, Aki from Wende. Had no perception depth with just that one eye and literally after 40 seconds looked to take it to the canvas. Tough fight now from Rest Wende coming with out. the action replay. 1938 is when it all started, Sporting Dreams is Restonic. And here we go. The PI is packed. It's hot in there. It's hot inside the hex. It's uh, been a battle all night and a historic night here in Johannesburg. Yeah, the eye still completely Big shot. Night, girls. The mm. you, you over there at the commentary position hitting that vape? Simon, I feel like you are. How, how can you tell Get all the way from Tennessee? Some of that little raspberry ice. It's blueberry ice, but very close. <laughs> 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 yeah, we've got the whole vaping crowd here, but thankfully to Ignite. And we look forward to their premium vodka and tequila next year as well. Let's take a look at those odds now. It's Zulu the favorite. That needle has certainly switched in the favor of the former champ, Zulu boy. Nick Wende, the current champion now, the marginal outsider at a 2.1 betting line. Zulu coming forward with a kick attack. We know how deadly that is. Wende keeping him off with a front kick. Nice defensive teep. Zulu mixing it up. Good roundhouse from the left of the body from Zulu. Wende coming forward, though. Continuing to stalk here is Zulu boy. 
former ENC champion. Good left for Nick, a nice side kick as well. Big swing and a miss. Zulu pushing him back just a little bit. They're looking for the opportunity. Nice oblique kick from Wende as Zulu came forward and got caught. Certainly did make a difference to him. Nice front kick to the face from Zulu, just misses. That was a good left from Zulu. Nick ducks out of the way nicely. Still dancing on his feet, though, is Nicholas Wende. Both lands exchanging a knee up the middle from Wende. Wow. Zulu coming back forward. Well, you know, we talked about it before, Simon. You know, Souza was good. Some of his other opponents, Zulu obviously better. But the way Wende has answered the call tonight and shown that he is definitely our champion has been impressive. He's hanging right in there and giving everything that Zulu has right back to him. Yeah, and Nick's still hanging in there with one eye. Absolutely incredible and getting some good strikes off his own. Wende's wagging the finger almost as if he knows it's not one-way traffic, even though he's relatively debilitated. Left to the body from Wende and a good left kick to the body followed up by a right hook. And Wende goes immediately for the takedown. A beautiful chain from Nicholas Wende and they're fighting for the wrist control. He's got the single on the left, has Nicholas. Just showing he's still got a nice bag of tricks coming into this third as Nicholas Wende. And gets the takedown. He's got to be careful to leave his neck out. Pops out nicely, does Wende. In full guard of Dan Casamola Zulu. Remember this one can go. A full five rounds championship bout. Wende continuing to keep that top position. This is a trend. Been great scrambles, been great attempts by Zulu, but Wende seems to come out on top. Two minutes to go here in the round. Nick was thinking about going around the back, but there was absolutely no space, and then they're back on the feet. Nick, let, Nick let's go of the single. Wait, Nick pulling guard now as a Zulu, he's got the neck. He's cracking on it. Nick's been in this position before in the first round. He was able to cut it out. He's cracking on his Zulu. Zulu though, has shown us that that guillotine is dangerous. Wende's thinking about it, but he's looking cool and calm. Zulu's like out. He's popped out as Nicholas Wende. Wow. Again, incredible show. Guts now starts replying with a left elbow of his own. And he's starting to pour it on, but a beautiful escape from a fantastic submission attempt from Zulu, who pulled guard and out pops Wende to start putting on some damage. Absolutely incredible. Now Wendy needs to start scoring some points and see if he can take advantage. Now it's gone to the ground. Now he's able to insinuate himself around the back. He hasn't got any hooks in, but he's going to drag Zulu back onto the back. Now uh -oh. he's got the right hook in. Right by my commentary position. Now he's trying to get the clasp on. He's struggling with it. Zulu's fighting for risk control. Now Zulu's trying to turn in, and he does. Oh. Nicholas is turning around to the side. They're both fighting for risk control. Zulu grabbed that cage just for a moment to get that position. Real veteran move there by Zulu boy. And now when they going after the arm, this is just back and forth attacking submissions. Who would have thought we were getting that tonight? Nick's got the body lock on. He's still fighting for the wrist control. Now he's moving into the hooks. Now he's seeing if he can get the rear naked on. Very smooth display of grappling from both lads, but it's Wende still in the dominant position. It's very high up, though. It's been very difficult to get any kind of rear naked on here, softening. Zulu up, there's only seven seconds left now in this third incredible round of a back and forth war. A couple of shots coming off for Nicholas Wende to finish the round strong. What wow, a cracking title fight. Ground and, crazy ground and pound there at the end for Wende, and this has been the trend. Simon, we've seen Zulu have his moments, but Wende comes out on top, and at the end of the round, it's usually the champion. Champion really showing that the real deal, he deserves to be there because he is handling everything Zulu's throwing at him. But don't count out the challenger tonight. That would be a big mistake. Second time now that Nick's Wende was able to pop his head out from those submission attempts that Zulu slapped on. I mean, obviously, they're both very sweaty in the beautiful Johannesburg summer heat. 
but I thought it was on, but Nick was there still cool and calm. I was looking directly in his eye, Cyrus, and it was just fierce and focused and popped out there and replied with an elbow and then took Zulu's back. Zulu tried to turn in, but Nick was just preventing him making the reversal and then went for the back again, changed the body lock to the hooks. I mean, how do you score this round? But with two rounds now, Nicholas Wende has come out with a closed eye and was put on the hurt with Zulu on the ground. Showing, like you said, Cyrus, he truly does belong to be in this hexagon with a legend like in Kazimala Zulu. What an incredible title fight, befitting an amazing celebration of African combat sports here at EFC 100. 100%. Simon, this has just been one roller coaster all the way through. The PI has been packed. They're having a blast in there. Good reason. Oh, it's a nice high kick from Wende. Follows with a left cross. And Zulu's going for the neck again, even though it's Wende who went for the takedown. He's looking for the neck again. And Kazumoto Zulu is in play odds. It's now Wende that's moved back to being the favorite in this back and forth war as a marginal outsider now is in Kazumala Zulu as Wende tries to complete the takedown and settle into some kind of position. But Zulu boy is not going to let him do that. Always active off his back. He has been in this fight. Hunting for that wrist control. Wende just seeing if he can just settle into position and fight for that right wrist. He's got both hands on the right arm of in Kazumala Zulu. Keylock isn't on from this position from where he is. He's in full guard of Nkazumola Zulu. Now settling to position. Pushing on here is Wende as he continues just to exert his pressure here all over Zulu. Zulu continue looking to work for a triangle, an armbar, anything from the bottom. A new facet of his game that he truly enjoys. And when it has to be hard for that. Yeah, throwing out that rubber guard. It's always dangerous off its back is Zulu. Nicholas just trying to score some points. He needs to keep Zulu here. Even though it's got to be said, it didn't seem that eye was debilitating in the beginning of this fourth round. Getting some nice combinations off was Nicholas Wende that was setting up his takedowns beautifully. We saw it in that third round, a beautiful chain of offense, mixing it up stylistically and immediately went for the takedown and executed it superbly. But again, Zulu just showing very smart defense off his back. He's not taking too much damage, just tempting that triangle, just throwing it up again. There it is, looking for the arm. He's going on, he's trying to clasp it on. Here's Zulu. I mean, it's there. He's not pulling down on the hair, but it's certainly there, Cyrus. Wende's got his arm in. He's going to go to that like he's seen before. To his corner too. Zulu boy trying to shock the world here with the triangle. How crazy would that be if he won this title with a triangle choke? Just pulling down as much as he can, can just he get the choke him? on. Yeah, Wende's still there replying with a couple of nicks. Referee Brad LeBlanc looking very, very closely. There. Wow. Has to let it go. Again, Wende pops out, and Zulu boys start to think, now, how do I finish this kid? Good left elbow from Wende on the ground to pound and reply. Every time Zulu just throws in these submissions, Wende escapes and starts to put on the hurt with just one eye as the Cyclops fighting like a veteran here with Nicholas Wende taking on one of the toughest to ever step the foot in the hexagon. What a cracking fight in this back and forth wars displayed by those world sports betting odds. Just going back and forth, an incredible display of combat. Zulu escapes, Nicholas goes for the side, trying to take the back now. Pulling him round, pulling him down. He's got the He's going underneath, oh, he's got it he cast goes. on. It's in That's deep, tight. Cyrus. It's in deep. So he's not trying to escape. He's got the got the, he's got the body lock on at the same time as Nicholas Wende. He's cranking on for all he's worth, but Zulu looks cool and calm. Oh Wende's resetting. Like Zulu boy. Nicholas hasn't got a cast on, he's got his right arm. He's got to be careful not to gas out those arms. Zulu's going to try and turn around. When, how long could Zulu last? Surely not much longer. That's nice and tight. Nicholas is trying to pull for his all his worth, but Zulu just keeps escaping from his attempts. 
Wendell's got the body triangle. Now he starts to put some hurt on with the ground to pound. Soon he's starting to cover this up. This might be it. He's not going anywhere. Brad Bloss looking very, very closely. A bleak elbow reply from the back oh, from Zulu Boy. Now in Boy. full mount is Nicholas Wende. The elbows are coming in. He's trying to turn round in Zulu Boy, but Nicholas Wende just keeps replying in full mount with the ground and pound. Zulu's trying to get out of the position as much as he can. Now he's giving up his back, and Wende's just keeping in control from top. An incredible display from both lads, Cyrus. It's bananas. What a fight. What an incredible fight tonight as Nick Wende continues to do everything to try to... Be, oh, there goes Zulu no, with the bat. Oh, and the oh, hooters Oh, my goodness. Saved by the bell, but I have no oh. doubt Wende would have been popped out of that one as well, like he has done all night. We're going into the fifth and final championship round, and this title fight has delivered in spades, Cyrus. Goodness me. I'm telling you, Simon, I want to queue up that Star Trek transporter and get to where you are right now. This is bananas. I wish I was there right next to you, but we are experiencing one hell of a fight. Wende cannot put away Zulu Boy. There was a time for many years that Zulu Boy would have been put away way earlier than this with the ground game. It is such a testament to how he's grown as a fighter. And yet Nicholas Wende is able to show that he can hang and take these rounds from a veteran and started pouring on the hurt. I thought the finish was coming here, Cyrus, I've got to, I've got to admit. But then in the blink of an eyelid, Nkazo Mazu just turned in and just towards the last 10 seconds reversed Nicholas Huende, almost a slap on his own rear naked choke. It's just an absolutely fantastic back and forth war without a shadow of a doubt. One of the toughest fights both these lads have been in. You look at the record of Zulu and the Warriors he's fought in the past. But young Nicholas Huende, 4-0, the current bantamweight champion of Africa, is showing that he's able to handle the veteran like an absolute warrior. I mean, absolutely speechless to a certain extent with the kind of show these lads are both putting on. So here we go. Fifth and final round. Zulu boy proving that he still has something left. And it's hard to believe after all those, after fighting off all those rear naked chokes, still able to hang right in there. And he, he just might put him away. And how fitting it would be if Zulu came back and won a title on EFC 100, a guy that's been with the organization for almost a decade. There's, there's World Sports putting in play hearts now. A massive favorite is Nicholas Huende. Zulu boy now moved to a massive outsider. There was a good left from Zulu, though, that rocked Nicholas just a little bit. But Nick came forward. He's got the single. Now he's got the double. He's not clasping, but he's burrowing in as much as he can as Wende and he takes Zulu down as he got the neck on the takedown Nicholas can't make that mistake in the fifth round surely he's going to pop his head out as he has done before and he does my goodness Zulu boy's keeping hold he's been of it trying on. for that guillotine over and over again has Zulu we've seen him win with it before now he may, he may pay. he nearly had him lound could it be that time and Nicholas just needs to keep it cool and calm. It's going to be interesting in the judges' eyes. There's been a lot of damage caused from Zulu on the feet, but it's been Huende in the ascendancy on the ground for the past three rounds. Hard to hasten to be a judge. But again now, it's Huende trying to get the, the hook in, but Zulu slips out of it very, very nicely. But Nicholas just keeps giving him no space. Just moving it to side with Zulu getting onto his feet. Not sure if he's grounded opponent, but he's got his right hand on the floor as Zulu's trying to get back to his feet. Nicholas again goes for the takedown. And this time leaves wow. his neck relatively out of harm's way. He's going to try and see if he can settle into size. He's got three minutes left now to keep his belt, has Nicholas Wende. Controlling the neck with his right arm now and just pity-patting shots to the body, pushing away the right arm of Kazumala Zulu and see if he can keep him in this position now. Directly in Zulu's corner, Mark him screaming out instructions as Wende just insinuates himself around the back of Zulu again. Now, this is most certainly Wende's fight to lose at this point. He's got the lead on points, but Zulu's got to throw everything at Wende now. He needs to get out of this position and put himself in a, in a, in a position to win. 
uh, in an attempt to win, whether it be on his feet, striking he know well, or if it's on the ground. Wende just has to keep going, keep his foot on the gas, and not deter. And that's exactly what he's doing with these big left hands. What has Zuda got left? Just two minutes in this final round for the bantamweight title on the line. He's got to explode. He's got to do something. We've seen him in the, on the back foot before. And he just pulled off something absolutely spectacular. But this is great control by Nixus Wende. Takes him down again in a beautiful slam. Keeping hold of that back. A left shot on the ground and pound. He's open on that side. Zuda tries to turn in. But beautiful following him is Nicholas Wende, not giving any room to escape whatsoever. Just one step ahead of the veterans, Nicholas Wende. Just showing wisdom and fight IQ beyond his years. You can see in the background EFC veteran Leo Gloss screaming out the entire EFC performance institute is on their feet here, Cyrus. I know we said it before, but really the atmosphere is electric. With just one minute left, can Kazem Elizuli pulls something off like he has done in the past, but Nicholas Huende just so tight, giving him no room to breathe on the canvas whatsoever. Putting it on here under a minute as Huende continues to control. Really, championship performance here by Nicholas Huende. Shots are coming Taking in. Taking everything from Zulu. Zulu's got to move. He's covering up. Referee Brad Lotch giving him a warning. All completely legal. Just keeping a hold around the right side of Suende and using his left hand just to score a couple more points. Really, there's not much time left. This is great control from Nicholas Suende to finish out this fifth and final round. It's going to keep. Zulu's trying to turn in. Can he do anything with 15 seconds left? Is he, Nicholas Wende looks to see if he can get the takedown again. He's got the single locked on. Again, scores another takedown. The clinch oh. is on. He's left Not his neck out this so time. Bad. He's offending now. He's in full man. It's a mounted guillotine from Akazam Alasuli. He's cracking on. Wende comes out. Goodness. Incredible. Oh, man. You talk about a Hail Mary. Tried to hit the guillotine at the end. The smiles on the faces of both guys. The sportsmanship, the respect earned, that was a fight. What a battle. Zulu gave it all, but Wende was just a little bit better tonight. Able to withstand all of these attacks. That eye was just completely shut after round number one. That's in bad, bad shape. They let the champ fight on, thank goodness, and we get a classic. We got a classic tonight at 100. We, it was a battle of wills, a battle on the ground, but it was a battle, and it was one that we will certainly remember. Wow, it all comes down to this. Obviously, the champ should be raising his hand and getting that title placed on him again, Simon, but, you know, if you love this sport, if you're a hardcore, you appreciate what happened in that hexagon tonight. Oh, absolutely incredible bantamweight scrap, the likes of which we haven't seen in some time. How many times was Wende able to pop his head out and escape the submission attempts and just change his game plan completely with that shut eye and just put on a beautiful grappling show. All those hours and hours he put on in this hexagon training with Sylvester Chumpumbu on this haloed mat in this amazing arena of the EFC Performance Institute. And Wende showing he really is a veteran, probably going 5-0 and and keeping his belt and right towards the end there. The mounted guillotine as Zuda kept on. Nick has tried to turn around with it. And again, like he did so many times in those amazing five rounds, popped his head out to eke out what is a win and a retention of a belt. An amazing fight, absolutely incredible. One for the ages and one truly befitting of such a momentous occasion. And we are just awaiting also with our official decision. It looks like he may already have that. We got both fighters ready. Let's make this thing official. Let's go to Jose Belau Romopo.
Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard for a decision. The judges call this contest 49 46, 49 46, and 48 47, declaring your winner by unanimous decision. And still, EFC Bantam Weight Champion of the World, Nicholas. The legend killer, Wendy! They say that greatness recognizes greatness, and that's without a shadow of a doubt true here. Nicholas, you keep proving everyone wrong, probably the hardest fight of your career, but that makes it all worthwhile. That was a performance worthy of a champion, my friend. Yes, my man. This is awesome. It all comes with hard work. Man, I suffered in this cage. I was with a real legend. I underestimated him, and he punished me for that. But with hard work and never give up spirit, I had to carry on even with a single eye. All to the fans, guys, I told you, sir, that I will succeed no matter what. And here I am. I did it. I'm exhausted, man. I can understand you are. I'll just ask you a quick question before you go. I've never seen a bantamweight fight like that. You've got to be so proud. All the people back in Zimbabwe, everyone in Johannesburg are truly, truly proud of you. What's next? What's your future? Because you are a future champion of the entire planet, my brother. If possible, I would really want to go far. I would really want to proceed, man. I really want to keep on working hard until I get, until I reach the greater heights. And I would like EFC to promote good athletes that will be able to go far to fight in UFC one day. That is my dream, man. That is my goal. You are a great champion and a hero to so many people. Your winner and champion, ladies and gentlemen, Nicholas Wende. Let's move over to Nkazimo Lazulu. We're going to chat to Nicholas at the post-event press conference, I'm sure. A fantastic fight, a real tough, a real tough uh, champion for you. What are your thoughts and emotions, Zulu? Uh, no emotions. It's just a spot I met before him. Uh, he came prepared. And look, man, I'm with a good team at uh, Pretoria CIT, but I'm only with the guys for like four weeks, like it's a one month. So this new game plan that I was c coming with uh, up, you know, is still not solid, but it's a great team. It's an honor to be with the guys there. And I'd like to say good luck to Cameroon Simon. He's doing his debut in the UFC. And I know he's gonna smash, he's a monster. And Trikas Duplessis is gonna smash. And go up the rankings and get the tidy for us as South Africans. And I just want to say to you guys, hey, Trikas Duplessis, South Africa is behind you 100%. Cameroon, South Africa is 100%. We love the sport. Thank everyone to come and watching. And thank to all the sponsors that's supporting the fighters and the sponsors that's supporting the EFC to keep them going. Because without, without you guys, without the fans, without the spoilers, without, without the sponsors, we know, we know we're nothing. We can just go fight in the street, but now we have a home to fight. So thank you, everyone. Thank you, uh, USA and South Africa, to have me my back. You said uh, uh, MTN, Devin, thank you, guys. I love you. Johannesburg, give it up for the legendary Nkazamalo Zulu. Wow, 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 what a finish, what an incredible night.